Hi, sir. I recorded the session, sir. Is it okay? Right, thank you. I really appreciate that. So next, there are 10 basic rules of sports writing. And what are those? Can I ask, Rian, can you pinpoint anybody from the group na pwedeng makabasa sa atin dyan? Uh, Para maging interactive yeah. naman. So, I'll call Kariz po. Yes, Kariz. 10 basic, um, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, thank you, sir. So, good morning, everyone. Anyways, so the 10 basic rules of sports writing. So, number one is know the rules of the game. Second is special vocabulary. Um, sports terms or sports lingo. Third is facts. Get all your facts straight. Fourth, jot down an outline. Fifth, make a good lead. It's most important, um, the most important paragraph. And six, use punchy verbs or strong verbs. All right, that's very nice. So yeah, those are the basic rules that we have. Number one, know the rules of the game. So for example, if you say volleyball, do you know when we say spike? Do you know when we say wallop? Uh, kung basketball naman, do we know when we say where's the rainbow territory? Do you know when we say dunk? Do you know when we say, let's say, paano ba, offensive foul? Do you have to be an athlete to be a sports writer? I think it's an advantage if you're an athlete while you can write at the same time. But it doesn't mean marami akong kakilala na hindi naman naglalaro ng basketball. Pero kung pasulatin mo, parang alam na alam yung kanilang pinagsasabi. Where will you get all of this information? So I think marami ka naman kaibigan na naglalaro ng basketball. So tanungin mo, ano bang ibig sabihin ng offensive foul? So kung halimbawa, let's say, kung sa boxing naman, ano bang yung tawag na uppercut? When do you say like jab? Like when do you say like hook, right? So dapat, yung mga terms na yan are what we call your sports lingo. So then facts, of course, you have to write it down. You have to make an outline if you're just starting, just to organize your ideas. And then one most important thing is to make a lead. Meaning when you say the lead is the most important paragraph. And then, of course, um, sports, alimbawa, kasi sinusulat siya, dapat kung binabasa siya ng reader mo, it should be really engaging in terms of having the verbs and, you know, action, action pack talaga pag sinasabi na sports uh, article. All right? So let me proceed. Now, here's the thing. I have a great idea to you about when I say rules of the game. Ayan. Tingnan nyo, nakikita nyo yan. Uh, what kind of sport is this? By looking at it, ang tawag dyan? Anybody? Like, maybe you can type your answer to the chat. Football. Yes, correct. Giancarlo. Ito, mahilig. Social talaga pag dagati na yun, no? alam yung mga West, uh, West sports. I was so surprised when I came here, like 2017. That was five years ago. Um, they let me cover American football. And ang alam ko lang na football dyan sa atin, sa Pilipinas, pag sinabi na football, ay soccer, di ba? E dito, ganun nga. O, tingnan mo yung kwan. Iba. So, I don't know what what to call, what do we mean by touchdown? I don't know, uh, like a quarterback. Yung mga ganun na term. So, but I have to go through that. So what I did, I spoke with the coach. I spoke with their quarterback. Ano ba ito? Kailan, kailan ba kayo nag-score? Ano bang tawag uh, there, there's, there's a term which they call uh, P P A T. Na kapag nag-touchdown na, may another chance pa na makascore ka. So ang tawag doon, PAT or P A T. I'm just giving an example that you have to know the rules of the game. All right, next. Of course, you need to get a quote from players and coach, officials, and spectators. Number eight, you include the key plays or the best plays. Like, ano ba nangyari? What are the highlights in the first quarter of the game? What are the highlights after the first half? Because may mga bagay dyan minsan na nagiging turning point ng game. So those are the things that you need to include because these are what you call your key plays. And then, ito yung sinasabi ko, if we, you should have started yesterday with your news writing, it would be easier sana for you to have your um, your sports writing because for me, sports writing is news writing with, you know, drama, with um, key plays. So, and then revision or editing. All right, so what are the components of writing news? First of all, you have to learn how to make a headline. So, for example, you have their eagles devour archers in straight sets three zero so basic components of a headline in sports are three things who won then you have your verb of course then you have versus who and then you have to get the score 
So anong laro kaya ito na may straight sets na 3-0? Can anybody guess? Taga school niyo yan. Yung sino ba? Nung nasa PBB ngayon. Oy, <laughs> alam talaga kung sino yung nanood ng PBB ha. O sino yung tinutukoy ko daw? Turn on your camera. I mean like your microphone. See? Al- Eliza Valdez, sir. Yes, Eliza Valdez. Ayan. Oh, actually, I remember one time when we went to like a conference in uh, UP Diliman. We went for the game of Ateneo versus De La Salle. And sorry guys, baka pasensya na. During that time, De La Salle ako. Rian, ano ka ba nung time na yun? Uh, neutral ako na na tayo. <laughs> Hindi, ma- baka magsimulan eh. Sabi man dito. So, uh, yun na nga, oh, di, eh, tama ako, nanalo yung De La Salle, talo yung Ateneo at that time, kahit na may Eliza pa kayo nung time na yun. Pero, yun lang naman. Um, anyway, but dito sa sample natin, syempre papanalunin ko kayo kasi sa inyo ito na, na, eh, na, na training. Alam nga na mapapanalunin ko yung De La Salle dyan. May pagkabalimbing din ako minsan. So, next. All right, so like for example, when you write a headline both in Filipino and in English, like for example, these are some of like, you know, basic style. For example, itong tingnan nyo, whenever you use a verb to create a headline, make sure that it's kind of like relevant to, to the name of the team. Like for example, dyan, lalo na sa Filipino, tingnan nyo. So like for English, San Miguel Spiders for straight Notre Dame or Notre Dame, whatever, kickers. And then we have SMNHS Spiders for straight and the end kickers. Then we have De La Cruz Vicente Tandem Smashes Norala Duo. Then dun sa Filipino ito yun. San Miguel Spiders, Binigo, ang Notre Dame kickers. And then we got Aguila, Dinaget, ang Tamarao. Or pwede naman kapag Tamarao yung i-highlight mo. So you can say Mindoro, Tamarao, Sinungay, ang Davao Eagle. So it's, you know, you have a Tamarao. So alam nga may horn sila, may sungay. So yun yung mga verb na gusto kong sabihin na pwede nyong i-relate sa pangalan ng... O kagaya nun sa kanina, yung previous slides natin. So eagles, devour. Like when you say devour, like you eat, right? You know? Parang kinain, yung archers. So eagles. So yun yung mga bagay na... You have to connect the verbs that you're using uh, with the name of the team. Okay, now, try natin. Write a headline for, let's say, two minutes. Ayan yung data natin. Type nyo lang sa chat. Teams would be, AD, I mean, how do you say it? ADU or ADDU? ADU, ayan. ADU shooters versus DDC dribblers and then scores would be 75.55. Sige daw. Two minutes starts now. Sana ba yung screen ko? Ayan. So those are the details. Sige daw. Alright. Okay na ba? Have you made your headline? Tingnan doon natin. Can, can you send it to the chat box or say it loud? So let me get the information first. Ilagay ko dyan sa kuha natin, sa chat box para at least itaon dito. Kaya nga, mas maganda pag dual screen. And You know what? One thing that I learned here in the US when I started, hindi na ako ganun ka-perfectionist when I was in the Philippines. Ibang-iba na ako ngayon, Rian, Rensa, tsaka Yang Yang. I'm not as strict as before. Like, kahit magkamali ka, okay lang. Yeah, let's do it. So, Gian said, Good. So you have Addo Shooters dominates DDC Dribbler 75.55. Okay. Nice. Ren said Addo Shooters stop DDC's dribbling. Oh, sounds good. Walang nagsulat sa Filipino? Do you see the point there? Um, probably I forgot to mention that when you make your headline. Kailangan i-observe nyo rin yung present tense of the subject verb agreement. Okay? So, kagaya nyan, bigyan ko lang ng one, ng highlight. Itong ADU shooters, it's plural, right? So, Gian, you want to change this? Instead of dominates, you want to do it 
dominate. Kasi pag plural siya, the verb should be yan, nasa base form. Di ba? Nasa present tense na base form. Yun yun siya. Isa lang. Yun lang. Ganun kay Renz. Um, instead na ipast tense mo siya, kasi headline nga ito, gawin mo siyang present tense. Yes, that is correct. Good job. Can we give a round of applause for yeah, Gian and Renz right now? Good job. So, walang nag-attempt to write in Filipino? So, let's proceed right now. We good? Okay na ba? Give me a thumbs up sign kung okay tayo. Okay? All right, let's proceed. <laughs> yeah. Next. Of course, pagkatapos ng headline, kailangan mo yung lead. So when you say the lead, it's the most important part of it, like the first paragraph. Yan yung summary ng lahat. So ito yung paggawa mo ng lead sports. Meron talaga siyang sinusunod na structure. So yun, ah, lima lang yan. So, sige daw, try to natin si uh, Giancarlo, can you please read what's on the screen right now? So, for writing the lead, you need to attract the interests of the audience. It is mm -hmm. the face of the story and it is also, it is the beginning of the story. So, right. for the structure, who won, against whom, by what score, and where and when yeah that's true so yun lang talaga ang pinaka basic structure of the lead or the first paragraph of your sports article so who won sinong nanalo against whom of course who won lagyan mo ng verb tapos sino yung natalo by what score where and when memorizing nyo yan you have to memorize that structure who won against whom by what score where and when or when and where you can interchange that one so kagaya ng ganito for example, the Adu Blue Knights routed the UP Mindanao Fighting Maroons 12-5 to finish the heartbreaking inning of the championship game of Davao Cup Invitationals of October 5th. So, yun, sige daw, try nothing analyze. So, who won? Adu Blue Knights. You have the verb. Kanina, uh, Mr. Soriano, sabi mo, kailangan natin na uh, present tense. Ito na sa lead na tayo. So kapag tapos na yung laban, edi gawin mo ng past tense. O bakit yung headline, why should it be in the present tense? Because, like for example, ako yung nagbabasa, it should be always in the present tense para as if na parang nandun ako sa storya na yun at that time. Like at the present time. Pero yung pag narrate mo na ng story should be in the past tense kung tapos na yung laban. So again, who won? Add to Blue Knights. Verb routed against whom you be might I mean fighting maroons by what score? All right, 12 5. And then you, you just added something about inning. Oh, anong sport ito kapag may inning? Sige daw. Give it a try. Anong sport kaya kapag may inning? Anong tawag dun? Anong sport yan? Base. Oh, yeah, good job. Alam magaling. Sports writer ka ba dati, Giancarlo? Um, no, sir. I just watch a lot of American shows. <laughs> Ay, that's good. Yeah. Ma magaling ang mga Americans pagdating sa baseball din. Eh. Alright. Yeah, may tawag sa MLB. Major League Baseball. Yeah. There was a time na nakapanood ako sa Seattle, sa Washington, uh, na state. Seattle Mariners. Kasi Marine yung sa, di ba, usually doon sa Seattle na area. So, anyway. Ito naman. Next. I'd like to read this. Nakapagbasa na ba si Caris kanina? Um, yes, sir. Oh, okay. So, who wants to do it next? Sige daw. Sige, try daw natin si Vian. Sige na, huwag na kami mahiya. Okay lang yun. Sige daw. Towering Kiefer Ravenna of ADM you fired a hair rising three-point shot in the last 2.89 seconds to edge the LSU. 87 to 85 before a delirious crowd at jam-packed Araneta's Astrodome yesterday. Good job. Nice. Ay, ito lang gusto ko na ako, no? Kasi yung Pag Ateneo, talagang magaling sa English din, no? Uh, so far, ang gagaling nyo. So, yeah, if you try to look at it, ang hinahilight natin dito is not the, th the team, but Kiefer Ravenna, parang yung star player. And then what happened is, galing siya ng ADMU, so parang hinahilight mo na, ay, nag I mean, kung ako na, 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 nagbabasa nito, so yun pala, nagkaroon siya ng 3-point shot sa 2.8, dying seconds. Na ibig sabihin nun, lamang yung DLSU. 
85 yung Lasal, 84 yung Ateneo. Tama? Tapos yung sa last 2.8 seconds, nag 3 point shot si Kiefer Ravenna. That's why naungusan niyo yung Lasal at kayo pa yung nanalo. Di ba? So ganyan dapat yung mga hina-highlight niyo every time like you watch a game, All right? Next. So there are three types of lead. So there's what you call key play. What what do you mean by key play? Who would like to read it? Take it out. Chaliana down. The first form of lead is the key play. This is usually used when the best angle of the sports event through the collective effort of all the members of the winning team. The mumukod or panglarok. Yeah, tama yun. So ibig sabihin, um, yung tingnan natin yung pinaka best na angle ng laro, bakit sila nanalo. So that's one one kind of lead na pwede mong gamitin sa panimula ng yung pagsusulat ng yung sports article. So, for example, look. Watch. Examples, the senior sluggers bombed the junior batters with six runs in third inning to subdue the nerve-wracking junior rally during the TNHS interims September 14th. Ibig sabihin, so paano sila nanalo? Ano yung namumukod tanging laro na ginawa nila? So yun yun, yung nakita nyo yun, yung sa with six runs in the third inning. Ibig sabihin dun sa pinakahuling part, yun yung key play, bakit sila nanalo? Alright? So yun yung sinasabi na you have to learn and identify the best angle of the sports. Ano ba pinamagandang angulo ng balita sa laro na yun? Right next, uh, another form which we call guys. Sabi niyo lang kung masadong mabilis ha, pero okay lang ba? Okay lang naman. Okay. Um, the outstanding player when one or two members of the team seem to stand out, the rest of the players that cause the team to win the game. Their heroic deed is the best angle to start a sports news. Namumukod tanging manlalaro. So ibig sabihin, like kagaya niyan, yung kay ito ha, sample, yung kay Kiefer Ravenna, Jensa number two. So at first, yung in-highlight mo yung buong team. Pero eh, gusto ko yung pinaka namumukod tanging manlalaro lang yung i-highlight ko. Pwede ba yun? Yeah, pwedeng pwede. Kasi nga, um, for as long as yung player na i-highlight mo ay dapat namumukod tangi talaga eh paano lang yun kung ang ang na-shoot nilang naman ay 10 points 'di ba eh kailangan mo ba siya tang i-highlight like for example ito ha uh, Devin Booker hit a three pointer at the buzzer leading the Phoenix Suns to a 105-102 overtime win over LA Lakers in the Valley of the Suns Arena on Sunday so kagaya niyan ako dito ngayon dito ako sa Phoenix Arizona eh, hindi ko pa nakita si Devin Booker <laughs> Hindi pa rin, I mean, nakapasok ako one time sa, yan, sa Phoenix Suns Arena or Valley of the Suns Arena. Pero hindi ako napanood ng game kasi mahal. Siguro kayo maka-afford kayo dito. Um, but y- you see what I mean? Like, instead of saying na Phoenix Suns players or dribblers, kinahilight mo si Devin Booker kasi nga, siya yung may pinaka-highlight na ginawa. Like, the three-pointer at the end. Towards the end. Alright, so, dalawa na yun ha. So, we have the key play. Then we have the outstanding player, and of course the last one is what you call the analytical approach. So you know, I need help sa pagbabasa nito. Pwede na ba nang bumasa si Maria? Yes, of course, sir. So, Take can it. you hear me for everyone? Okay lang po. Yeah, yeah, yeah naririnig, naririnig ka namin. Okay. Analytical approach, this is used when the team, the team employs a very spectacular strategy or action that brings them to victory. Panalisang panimula. Example, banking on sturdy wallops, deadly spikes, and tricky placing, Ilocos Northern National High School netters dethroned Ilocos North National High School spikers on the crucial third set of the volleyball sh- championship game 3-0 on the Ilocos North Athletic Association meet at the Vegan City October 6. All right, that's correct. So. Ito yung, thank you, uh, Maria. Ito yung analytical approach. Parang inala, in, inanalyze mo yung strategy nila bakit sila nanalo. Like for example, yan yung first line in that example. You see that? So banking on sturdy wallops, deadly spikes, and tricky placing. So ano yung strategies na ginamit nila? Una, yung wallop. Hindi ito yung spike talaga is napaka, di ba, malakas. Yung wallop parang, parang mahina lang. Then tricky placing, let's say kung saan yung may may butas sa court ng kalaban doon nila nilalagay yung kanilang yung pagplacing ng ng bola para walang para maka-score sila. 
So yun yun. So there are three types. We have the lead of, of the key, three types of lead: key play, outstanding player, and analytical approach. Tingnan nyo lang kung ano yung pwede yung magamit jan. Give me. Sige daw. Ito daw. Depende sa inyo kung anong gagamitin nyo. Let's say, if you want to have, kung gusto nyo gamitin yung key play, or star player ba, or analytical approach. So, ito yung data natin. Sige. Kasi tingin ko mamaya, ito din yung mga itatanong nyo sa akin. So, inunahan ko na kayo. Sige. Kopyahin ko lang. If you can take a screenshot for this, or take a picture using your phone, that's okay with me. Pwede ko rin ilagay na... Right, so right there, it's in your chat box. So para may data din kayo. So let's proceed. Okay lang ba? Parang nagmamadali ka ata. So hindi naman. Kasi alam ko may iba pang kasunod na speaker. So, you know, of course, uh, I respect their time as well. So okay lang ba ang pacing natin so far? Meron namang nare-retain. Ah, sige. Right, sports lingo. Very important. Like a dictionary sa sports. Marami. So these are terminologies that could determine the quality of the story to be written. Some stories are close contest. Ibig sabihin, magkadikit. Parang gahibla lang. Parang almost lumamang lang. Parang manalo. So close contest ang tawag. So there are stories that are identified as blowout. Ibig sabihin, malayo yung, yung lamang. So yeah, two, two types of games or stories. Close contest at saka blowout. So ano bang mga terms na pwede natin gamitin? So, importante sa pagsulat ng sports, verbs, adjectives. Pero, pinaka-importante talaga, verbs, action. No? Kailangan natin ng action. Eh, limitahan lang natin yung verbs kasi minsan, I mean, yung, yung adjectives kasi minsan, sumusobra yung pag-describe natin, nakukulangan tayo sa paggawa ng action ng story. So, verbs should be strong, active, specific verbs depicting the action, the drama, and the excitement unfolding the match. No flat set of verbs. Yung parang boring. Rule of thumb, use adjectives in moderation. Instead of sabihin mo na the tall player, why don't you say something about that tall player? What did she do? What did he do? Ano bang ginawa niya? Here are the verbs like ganyan, defeated. Ano ba pwede natin gamitin? Sige daw. For close games, yung magkadikit lang. So parang sabihin mo, net. Parang... Lalang, lumamang ka lang ng konti. O yan, word, edged, scratched past, o parang kinamot lang, di ba? O scratch, o survived, squeak past. So yun mga term na ganun. Blowout, ito, di ba? Ibang iba. So demolished, robbed, uh, massacred, Mr. Uh, Mr. Soriano, parang sobrang sama naman yan. I mean, you can exaggerate your your verb. Sa, sa totoo lang, you can exaggerate your verb. Ito yung mga word na massacred bombarded, dominated sa sports writing. Combination siya ng lahat. Nagde-describe ka, at saka at the same time, gumagawa ka rin ng action. So, from the word defeated. Next. Pinalo. Ayan. Yung pinagkaiba ng close games at saka blowout matches. Si Kwan daw. Si Gian. Sige, yang Basahin mo kung ano yung mga words Sir? na yun for close for, games. Okay. For close game, pinitik kinapos na ungusan for blowout matches right. dinuro ilang paso pinabagsak good job ito naman sports verbs para sa produced or gumawa produced um yeah rian can you please read that hi sir so for produced we have generated erupted contributed explode, exploded for committed then added broke out of a series slump drilled a 36 footer as time expired and buried yeah that's true so union um uh, yan yung mga gamitin niyo sa body paragraphs niyo ng story so nagpasabog nagambag nagpasiklab natawagan tinawagan bumawi sinalpak so sports adjectives kami yan poor performance pwede mong sabihin na uh, Atrocious, anemic, yung mga ganyan na mga word, pathetic, pwede mo yung gamitin sa, uh, oh yeah, sa lahat ng sports. Pwede rin na uh, malamyang laro, palpak, malamig. Hindi ba yan parang sobra na words? Yes, you can exaggerate in, ba I mean, in, in sports writing. Pwede yun. Walang tibay, nakakaawa, pwede ka magbigay ng opinion mo, pwede ka mag-narrate, 
pwede ka mag-describe. Itong maganda sa sports. And easy victory. So you have one with ease, dominated, dominant, sword, barely broke, sweat, blitzed, uh, coasted to victory. Um, then what else? Walang hirap, dinomina, umangad, pumailang lang, umalam, umalimbuyog. Now, ito naman sa pinakaiba ng lead dati, yung tinuturo ko sa inyo, ito yung conventional, yung basic. Pero naman, meron naman, there's new way how to do that. So there are two types of lead right now. Remember the lead that we made? So who won, against whom, by what score, where and when. Tingnan nyo yung sa kabila, like on your left side. The San Gregorio School Crusaders edged the Quezon National High School Orator 65-63 yesterday at Barangay Covered Court. So who won, San Gregorio, verb edge, against whom, Quezon National High School, by what score. Yun yung basic. And kung halimbawa nagsisimula ka pa lang sa sports, yun lang muna. Doon muna tayo mag-focus sa conventional. And then along the way, kapag naka-develop ka na na parang alam mo na yung, yung style ng pagsusulat mo, lagyan mo na siya ng kulay, lagyan mo na siya ng style and creativity. So like for example, this one. So this is the new one, the new trend. Jose of Merga, play the role of savior. Ayun na parang may mga word ko na ginagamit na play the role of savior. Of San Gregorio High School as he buried a hook shot at the buzzer to lift. The Crusaders to a thrilling 65-63. Doon sa kabila, parang basic lang. Nilalagyan mo na ng style. Meron ka pang pa-conquest con conquest dyan sa kabila. O, tingnan mo. Um, of the Casa National last night. So parang if you try to observe basic, but then pag nilagyan mo na ng style, eh, saan ba mas maganda? Saan ka ngayon mas pipili? Di ba? What else? Sa Pilipino naman. So tingnan natin to. Tinalo ni Dance or Coolio ang lahat ng kanyang nakalaban. Pero natalo siya kay Copin, 15-14 para sa corona ng Brunswick, Thailand, 9-ball open nung linggo ng gabi sa Bangkok. Ah, sige daw yung, uh, Gian, try mo daw basahin ito yung sa kabila, na parang nag-radio broad. Winalis lahat ni Dennis Arculo ang tinik sa kanyang daan patungo sa finals, ngunit nabigo para sa corona nang yumuko ito kay Taiwanese Copin na humakot ng labing isa sa nod sa rocks tungo sa panapanabik na labing lima hanggang labing apat na panalo para masungkit ang corona at makontento ang Pinoy sa runner-up place, Brunswick, Thailand. Well, open noong linggo ng gabi sa bangko. Wow, ang galing naman. naman. Palapakan natin si Gian. Parang ano, no, pwede na pang radio broad. So kung may pa-contest kayo dyan, pwede nang gamitin yan. So yeah, good job. So yun. But the point is, Comparing the two leads, okay naman yung sa left side. Pero dun sa kabila, parang nilagyan mo pa ng mga style. Yun na yung sinasabi ko. So it's between conventional, newsy, parang nagbabalita ka lang. Kumpara doon sa action, significance, oriented, sporty na lead. So kayo na bahala dyan. At siguraduhin nyo lang na naka-style na kayo doon sa basic na binigay ko. Tapos kayo na magdadagdag. All right, remember, five W's and one H. What, who, why, when, where. Mamaya, i-discuss yan sa inyo sa pagsulat ng balita. Sentence construction and length. Pag news, 7 to 20 words. Kapag may interview ka, Manny said, yun lang. Sa sports, usually 7 to 42, very wordy siya. And then, instead of saying, uh, Manny Pacquiao said, this time you will say, the four-time pound for pound, uh, pound for pound boxing king said. May description ka ng binibigay. Hindi lang yung parang basic. Now, when you write the body of the article, so tingnan mo yung individual and team standing, yung parang background nila. So ba pa bago ka pupunta sa game, alamin mo muna. Like, if it's this, sem sem I mean, finals na ba? Kung championship match. Ano ba yung road to finals nila? Sino yung mga natalo nila? Ano ba yung standing nila? Ilang panalo? Ilan ang talo? Um... Ano yung mga teams na natalo na before sa nakaabot sa finals? Yun yun, para maibigay mo dun sa background ng story mo. Then decisive plays, yung mga key plays nga, play-by-play -play account. Like anong nangyari sa first quarter, second quarter, first half, first inning, first set, ano ba? Then best quarter of the day, then quotations or quotes. So yan, may mga words pa tayo, verb. Like for example, pag uh, big margin, so battered, pulverized, crushed. You know, uh, pag small margin naman, shaded. Ito yung mga sinabi ko kanina, kapag close versus blowout na laro. Next, so ito pa yung mga ver verbs natin sa basketball. Meron yung ganyan. 
hindi ko na siya isa-isahin. Um, meron sa tennis, meron sa baseball. Ito yung mga award-winning na sports articles sa kay, galing kay Sir Jelly Alquino na libro. So, like for example, ito, matagal na to 2011, but you will learn the basic from it. So, yun yung style. Um, siguro ibibigay ko lang kay Rian yung kopya ng, ng, ng slides. Alright? Bigay lang kayo ng credit ha, hindi hindi to sa akin original, parang kinumbahin ko lahat. So, hindi ko ni-claim nga na akin to. Ayan. So, yun. Ito yung parang full length na article. So, kung gusto nyo pang matuto, kasi nga, sabi ko, yun naman ang importante. Meron kang headline, you have your lead doon sa, diba, dyan, sa pangalawa. And then, the story, paano siya dinevelop. I'm pretty sure you have a good command of the language, both Filipino and English. So, hindi siya masyadong mahirap sa inyo. Yung champion ito ng 2011. Sige. So, do you want to proceed to the next or may introduction pa ba to or diretso na tayo? Um, you can go na lang, sir. Uh, oh, can, can we have a break though? Well, hindi pa naman, ano pa naman oras, di ba? May four minutes ba? Can we have, I mean, sige. Sige ha, break muna tayo mga ilang minutes yan. Pwede. Kaya para tawagan ko sa Aliyah so that we could start and then she could join. Okay. Yeah, break muna ako ha. <laughs> 